So how, how do we balance kind of the stress of what they're doing between their sport, lifting at the high school and lifting here? Um, it's really just an honest conversation between that athlete and the coach. If they don't come to me and let me know that they're having practice and they're playing their games, I don't know that. Um, another way is a lot of these kids that do have to go to high school lifts, we just simply pull them aside and say, hey, every time your high school lift changes, let me know. And then every time, it's just that open dialogue. So then that way, I know what you're doing outside of here because I don't want you to squat if you just squat at the high school. I don't want you to deadlift if you just say, most of the time we can assume, right, we're, we're doing the big three. We're, we're benching, right? We're doing some sort of chin up. We're doing some sort of squat, maybe some sort of deadlift, right? Those are the big things that you can get done in high school because as you guys will see when you go into the high school, it's a vastly different setting where we got 50 to 80 kids. You kind of saw it yesterday with the track team in here. It's like, okay, here's what I want to get done, but how much of it are we getting done at a high level? And even talking to those kids, like, what was your sets and rest scheme? How heavy are you going? Because if we look at, okay, maybe they don't have a great high school strength coach and it's always three sets of 10, right? So the intensity never goes up. It's like this safe, almost hypertrophy, general prep training. Then maybe I want to take a day in here to try to work them up to a heavier intensity so we can work on strength gains. So it, it's really just having an open dialogue and building that dialogue between the two people and having that conversation.